son and daughter-in-law. Um, we canceled the baby shower due to the coronavirus. So I'm just going to their house and I'll drop off the baby's gift. The baby shower is actually postponed. So when they have the baby shower, probably maybe in a couple weeks, maybe a month, the baby will be here already. So that's great. I'll just get something else for the baby shower. I'll give them this right now because I know that they need um, a bassinet. Um, plus other items that I purchased. My husband went to the grocery store today to just pick up some ice cream and sandwich meat. And he said that the store was packed at like 8.30 in the morning. And he said they're basically wiped out of everything. And it's like, wow, this is amazing. It really, really is. Hi guys, I just wanted to do a little update. I'm on my way to the store, to the grocery store. I want to do a little update on my father. He's kind of the same. Uh, one of us has to stay home, so we each take turns going to the store or running errands. Um, right now it's my turn, so I'm going to go to the store. My husband is home with my father. Um, I just don't like leaving him home just in case something happens. Um, it, it's very hard because you know I'm taking care of him taking care of his bills plus doing my own stuff and you know taking care of house stuff so um, for people who have their parents who either have dementia Alzheimer's it is very hard and I you know I really understand what they're going through um, I just wanted to give a little update um, you know to let you know how it's going I tried to make videos, but it's very hard because I can't keep my father quiet or not walking around or anything like that. So I do the best I can when I am making something. Whoop. Right now I'm um, driving and this is basically my only quiet time. This is about the first time that I kind of put makeup on because when I'm home, there's no need of it. Um, you kind of lose sense of yourself as far as taking care of yourself because you're more focused on making sure that you're taking care of the person you're taking care of, making sure that their needs are met first. And by the time you know it, the day's over. Um, so I got up early got my father all situated made him his breakfast and stuff so my husband's home watching him and I could finally get myself ready and now I'm off to the grocery store to pick up you know what he likes to eat so I'll keep you updated well I just got out of Walmart doing my grocery shopping and I also went to Publix which is another grocery store here uh, very very busy and it's a Sunday morning um, I'll post more. Well, I'm back out again. I forgot a few items at Publix. Um, my father wants some sandwich meat, so I figured, okay, while I'm out, I'll pick up what I forgot and get him his sandwich meat. Um, because that's basically what he'll only eat. I'll make some nice meals like, um, turkey with stuffings, potatoes, I mean, the whole nine yards. And then I'll make spaghetti and meatballs, um, meatloaf with potatoes. But it seems like the only thing that he'll really like to eat is sausage, hot dogs, corn on a cob, um, and he loves his sweets. And it's like, you know, I wish I could get him to eat different foods. When I do make a sandwich, because I know he likes sandwiches, I used to make him a whole one. He would eat it. Now, he'll eat only half. And then sometimes it's half of a half. It all depends on, I guess, what mood he's in. Or, you know, I don't know how to explain it on why he'll eat so little. 
and when he does eat half of a half of the sandwich, I'll say, Dad, do you want a piece of pie or cake or something that I made or bought? He'll say, yeah, just a sliver, and I give him more than just a sliver, and he'll eat the whole thing, and it's like, that's all he's craving is sweets, and I just don't know why, and it's like, I don't want to keep giving him sweets, um, but I do give him a dessert every time he does eat dinner. That's the only time that actually I give him dessert, um, and at night he'll crave like either chips and salsa, chips and sour cream, or he likes the, um, the little mini ice cream cones. So I go and get those because there's only like six in a box. Um, trying to think what else. I'll cut up fruit. He'll eat watermelon. Uh, he'll eat some strawberries. Won't touch bananas anymore. I don't know why, but he used to eat bananas. So I stopped picking them up because the bananas have been getting, you know, they get old. And, um, you know, we're tired of making banana bread out of the old bananas. Um, the only other, he won't, once in a while he'll eat the blueberries. Not, not too much because he said it gets between his teeth. I did cut up a fresh peach. He wouldn't touch that. Um, I cut up an orange. He had a, like a couple slices and that was it. So it's mainly watermelon and strawberry that he'll eat. So I'm running to the store or my husband's running to the store. Seems like every other day to every two days. Um, you know, to pick up fresh fruit or sandwich meat because I don't pick up a lot of it because I used to pick up I used to pick up the sandwich meat by the pound and honestly it just it wouldn't go because I really don't eat sandwich meat uh, very rarely or if I put it in um, his eggs I'll make a ham and cheese omelet for him in the morning um, other than that you know, I, I don't know what else to make for him. Every now and then he'll, like I said, he'll eat the spaghetti, but then it's like, he, he'll he look at the spaghetti and say, nah, I don't like the sauce. And then he'll eat the meatloaf and then, you know, three weeks to a month later, I'll make meatloaf and he'll be like, eh, I don't like that. So it, it's very hard. <clears throat> the only thing that I know that he'll constantly eat is sausage and hot dogs. And I to me that's garbage food but it seems like that's the only food that he'll eat um, you know I wish I could get him to eat something else I would make hamburger corn and mashed potatoes like shepherd's pie won't touch it um, every now and then he'll eat some fries but they got to be really really hard and crispy won't touch potatoes <clears throat> Um, if I make homemade chicken pot pie, he won't touch it because he just doesn't like anything with gravies. It seems like, you know, if I make something with a little sauce or a gravy, he just won't eat it. And I, I don't know why. The other day I made a filet and I put it on the grill and I made it the way he wanted it, uh, medium rare. And I cut it up for him because with his hands, it's, it's hard for him to use a knife. He took one look at the filet and said, I don't like it. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what's not to like? It melts in your mouth. That's how tender this meat was. And I paid an arm in a lake for this. And I'm thinking, geez, I don't know what else to make for him. So I ended up making peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm thinking, are you kidding me? From a filet to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? But, you know, I'm just trying to make him happy. And, you know, I want him to eat and making sure that... You know, I wish he would eat the right stuff. Um, well, I'm almost at the store, so uh, I'll add more to this. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a little of the shopping that I did. I actually did this months ago, because I had a feeling that it was going to get worse and not get better with this virus and all. 
So I stocked up on a few items because it makes it easier for me instead of going shopping. With my father having Alzheimer's, it's very hard to shop so that this way here, I'm pretty much stocked up. So I got quite a few items here, plus my canning items, cleaning products. I also made sure I got enough Clorox wipes. I also have other items out here as well. Like I said, I started doing this about three months ago. Listening to the news too is so devastating. It's the coronavirus 24-7. And this is where my dad likes to sit to have his cigarettes. He did quit for like, I don't know, 40 years, something like that, 30 years. I don't I don't really don't know. And he started back up again. So I figured, you know, at his age, he enjoys smoking it, so I let him smoke. The doctor too said, you know, let him enjoy it. His favorite drink is root beer, so I stocked up on root beer. He likes to either drink it, you know, out of the can or make a root beer float. His other favorite thing is these um, little ice cream cones from Blue Bunny. So I make sure that I have plenty of them in the freezer here. For some reason, he really likes his sweets. He'll maybe have like one ice cream cone a night or every two nights. He also likes his Klondike bars. So doesn't my husband. So once in a while, my father will eat one of these Klondike bars, but he would prefer the uh, ice cream cone. I made my dad an egg for breakfast. Told him to sit at the table. He didn't want it. It's one of those days. <laughs> 